Hi Aries Sun Moon Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the light bringers, and the soulpreneurs of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit that subscribe button right below with the like button so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on the channel. So welcome to my what month is this even? I don't know. April. <laughs> My April 2020 tarot scope. We are um, in isolation right now. So um, I am shooting videos from home. Please stay home. Please keep everyone safe. So we are going to dive into your month of April. What can you expect? What messages do the angels have for you? And how can you best navigate this month? Now we will check in with your cards. I just wanted to wish you all a happy birthday. So many of you are going to be having your birthday as an Aries here in April. So happy birthday. I hope that you are celebrating and finding ways to enjoy your birthday without being able to go out and do all of that stuff but I do feel like there's such a purpose to all of this and I think that this is going to really make a lot of sense on the other side of it so hang in there while we are waiting this thing out and just doing our best to get through it so I do think that you are going to find yourself just going on a journey this month as I look through your cards and a lot of just internal shifting happening so when I say that there's a reason for all of this I think there's a journey that's happening for you as you are maybe finding more quiet or noticing the changes that are happening in our world and being impacted by those. And I see that just really impacting you and impacting your life. So let's take a look at the cards that I just see as your overarching themes to expect for this month as we're getting started. So the first thing that I am noticing here is or the first card that we have is the four of fire. Okay. Sorry if you guys are picking up on that sound. I have kids outside the door. This is definitely a different way to film these videos. Um, the four of fire is kind of like a halt, you know, it's when it's showing up reversed, it's like things are, have slowed down a little bit. Maybe you're feeling like you're working towards something important. You're finally understanding something. You're finally creating, gaining some momentum and some progress and this is has come to sort of a halt and and that makes sense given the current circumstances of our world okay but understand that this is temporary this is not for the long term and i do feel like this pause is very purposeful and um, i see just a lot of shifting small shifts happening within you that are going to create better things on the other side of this. So do your best to embrace the pause as it's going to just trigger and bring out some really important things for you. Now we have this wheel card showing up for you next. Okay. So this is about, you know, as much as there's a pause, there is a moving forward. There is a, an understanding of some things that maybe you haven't understood or understood at this level before okay it's a learning how to maybe flow more with the circumstances or it's a understanding of some things that didn't quite make sense before and what this is allowing for you is a moving forward it's allowing for progress it's allowing for you to step into the next phase of things the wheel is really about releasing old karma, old patterns, old stuff. And it's like, finally you move forward. Finally you progress into this next level. This really is a leveling up in your life. So, um, I'm going to read the card cause I think that that is really uplifting as well. It says a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So as much as we're taking a pause, um, or we are adjusting to changes that are happening for us, there's some really good things moving forward for you still here in this month. Now we also have the emperor card. Okay. So this is about taking the opportunity that you have right now to create some structure around things, to plan some things, to develop some things that maybe you've been wanting to develop for quite some time to look at things from a different perspective and just to create a structure structure around them to create some kind of a, uh, a flow, but a, a flow that has structure and, um, 
you know, a plan. This is a great time to plan to get all of those little things taken care of that need to be taken care of. Okay, the emperor is really great at organizing things. This is also a message of leadership. So if you're finding yourself feeling compelled to step into a leadership role this month, this is a great time for you to do that, especially if you're finding yourself feeling called to lead or create or, um, develop some kind of a structure around something this is going to be a really great role for you to step in this month we also have for the overarching theme the addict card okay so this is about um, recognizing and confronting some kind of an addictive behavior that has been a challenge for you or if this isn't you if this is maybe somebody in your world that you're recognizing has a real issue or a real problem with something and um, recognizing that maybe you need to respond differently how have you been uh, either supporting this habit for yourself or supporting this habit for someone else and what do you need to do to allow for things to move forward allow for the release like like the wheel card allows for and to move forward into things okay so I do feel like you're going to be confronting some kind of a behavior that is addictive in nature that um, needs to be released this is also we also have the vacation card showing up okay so um, this is just about taking some time taking some space taking some extra rest allowing yourself to have a mental vacation a spiritual vacation just some time to rebalance and get yourself and get your thoughts together a little bit okay so it is okay to take a little bit of time and space to just get yourself back into balance and um, maybe a little bit extra relaxation than you normally would be taking this month. Now the next cards that we have here are the challenges and the advice, okay? So uh, the first card that we have here is the two of fire, okay? So this can sometimes be connected with a new partnership, especially in connection with work, but it doesn't have to be a new connection in regard to work or um, somebody that you are just gonna be teaming up with to work on some things or to to uh, do some things and this is really saying that you're ready for this and to allow for this to come in sometimes we can be um, stubborn and wanting to do it ourselves or really focused on doing it ourselves this is really saying if somebody is coming in that feels good that you feel connected to and you want to allow for this partnership to happen for you go for it okay um, or maybe you're going to be invited into some kind of a contract or a work deal or um, even a new business this can represent and a new business partnership so watch for for those uh, to come through maybe this is new contract this is also about just continuing to move forward and to finding your people to move forward with okay so as much as things might feel stuck how do I continue to move forward how do I continue to take action and take steps moving forward with things we also have the ego card okay and this doesn't sh surprise me in um, as we also have this addict card showing up, okay? So this is really about like, what do you need to work on? What do you need to change within yourself? Where has your ego not been serving you, right? Where has your ego been feeding you some lies about some things that are okay, some things that are good for you, some things, maybe not that are good for you, but like some things that you have uh, maybe let slip that you know aren't for your highest and best good. So where has your ego been um, keeping you stuck? Where has your ego been telling you that you're more stuck than you actually are? Where have you been too focused on um, things that are more materialistic in nature? Uh, where have you been too focused on negativity or to uh, allowing fear-based thoughts to be in charge of you rather than you being in charge of it. We really need, especially in our current world circumstances, for us to do our very best to bring ourselves out of that fear-based energy as often as possible and to bring ourselves into love and, and how can I love myself, how can I love other people more how can I be grateful for what it is that I have the more that we can shift into that love based energy and out of the fear based energy the better we are going to be helping ourselves and our world so it really is a win-win situation there now the next card that we have here in the uh, challenges or advice is the nine of earth okay so this is really about beginning to recognize the little things in life. Where are we, thank what are we thankful for? I know that I found through um, 
having to stay home and having to go through this journey so many little things that I never realized that I was so grateful for and those are things that I have right now and those are things that I'm missing right now as well so enjoying the little luxuries in life the little things in life um, that that we can be thankful for like I'm finding so much peace for myself in the quiet and in the slow down I can't tell you the last time that life has felt slow or um, you know, that I haven't felt rushed to go from thing to thing. And I've been actually really, really thankful for the slowing down of things. Okay. This is also about successful self-employment. So if you are someone who's self-employed, allowing some ideas to come through and allowing yourself to take action on some of those ideas, whether it's a change in your self-employment, whether it's, um, you know, being creative about the way that you are running your business right now, but allowing that to come through and allowing those to guide you because, um, that creativity is really going to result in, um, you know, a, a, a payoff, whether that's in the form of opportunity, whether that's in the form of money, whatever that is for you. But this is, um, there definitely is an energy of successful self-employment. If that's something that you already have or something that you are thinking about getting started with this month. We also have in the challenges and advice category, the environmental awareness card. Okay. So this is about getting out and noticing nature and connecting with nature and um, just really even processing. You might find yourself this month processing more things in connection with nature. Um, you know, I know I've been thinking a lot about how everybody staying home and everybody uh, making these changes in their lives. I'm watching the way that this is positively impacting our earth and I can't help but think about how can I do better how can I be better when all of this is over and I think that you guys might find yourself questioning some of these things as well and just having more of an appreciation for our earth and maybe uh, spending some more time outside as we go throughout this month and we also have the monk and nun card. And this is really suggesting to me that there is a spiritual awakening that's happening for you or a leveling up in your spiritual awakening where you are just finding yourself more connected to your spirituality, but feeling more compelled to lead in regard to your spirituality. So sharing spiritual ideas with other people, helping other people through sharing spiritual ideas, um, just maybe feeling more connected to your own spirituality and feeling more comfortable leading through that. So um, th there is this dedication to the divine, this dedication to spirit that you are connecting with that is going to be really beautiful for you throughout this month of April. Now the next cards that we have here are in the category of the overall gifts. So what are the gifts that you can expect through this month? Okay, so here we have the five of water. And this is really saying to me that there's something like that you just admit to yourself, you know what? This just hasn't worked out the way that I wanted it to and it's time for me to move on. It's time for me to let that go. It's time for me to move forward. It's time for me to release this. Um, this is really saying to me that you are recognizing that it's time to let this go. It's time to not dwell on it. It's time to just move on. You know, um, and maybe you have been dwelling on this. Maybe you have been upset. And, and oftentimes with the five of water, it is like an old relationship or, or something that really didn't matter a whole lot, but you've been dwelling on it. You've been focusing on it way, way too much. And you recognize now that you've been focusing on it way, way too much. And, um, you begin instead to shift into searching for those things that you are grateful for in your life that are going well, that you do have an appreciation for, and it almost will seem silly to you that you have been so upset over whatever this thing is. So there's such a gift in that, right? When we're able to move forward in that way. And then we have the seven of air reversed. Okay. So this is you choosing to step out of a cycle, maybe an addictive cycle, um, that hasn't served you, that doesn't serve you. It's like a moving forward from something or someone that just like you have been in a repeated cycle with for so long. And 
you have an understanding now then it's time to move on it's time to walk away it's time to get off the ride right um so you you walk away you find your way to just step away from this it is now the proper timing for you to let this go and I think that you're gonna find that when you make those efforts to let this go that you're very supported by the universe in making those efforts and in um, emotionally releasing these things okay so this is a great time for you to change your habits for you to make uh, a different life for yourself in so many ways for you to move forward in so many ways so take that energy and run with it okay then we have the page of air reverse okay so this is about um receiving information that you don't like you know um but this is about hearing it this is about acknowledging it this is about um embracing it even if there's a message that you don't like so it's like you're facing some hard truths you know you're facing some things in your life that maybe you haven't been ready to see before and now you see it and now you can't hide from it now you're not hiding your head in the sand anymore you are acknowledging it you're recognizing it and um you're seeing it for what it is. And I think that that's really important because I think that it helps you to move forward, to release some things, and to step into something new. Now we also have the athlete card showing up for you, okay? So if you have been thinking about um, some form of incorporating more exercise into your life or incorporating something more active, you are encouraged to get started with this. I think that this is gonna be really helpful for you guys um, or to take your fitness to that next level and really be pushing your physical limitations. This is really saying that you have, um, you have it in you, right? So maybe you've been doubting yourself or you've been putting it off or been making excuses and this is really saying no, like let's push ourselves, let's push our physical limits, let's see where we can go with this and of course always listening to your body. We don't want to push that to the point that we're harming ourselves but at the same time this is really saying your body is calling for something your body is asking for more activity for um, some changes for you to take it to the next level so rising to the occasion here with this and the last card that we have here is the laughter card okay so letting yourself just embrace laughter incorporate laughter this is going to be one of those things that just carries you through this month is having a good time, laughing, enjoying yourself, watching movies that make you laugh, telling jokes that make you laugh, having conversations with people that make you laugh, whatever it is that is going to foster and bring out that laughter in you. So those are your messages for this month of April. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity, you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button and I would love to hear from you in comments below. Thanks so much and I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care.